So how do we use ChatGPT to create good content for our site that we're proud to publish and that meets Google's requirement that it demonstrates qualities of double E A T. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video, my six step process for using ChatGPT to publish really good first hand experience content. And I'm gonna be showing you a real life example from one of my sites. So Google's guidance on AI content is pretty interesting. They were basically forced to say they're okay with AI content as long, number one, as it's helpful, but number two, that it demonstrates qualities of EEAT, which is a very interesting detail they put in there. Because when you think about it, AI content or chat GPT content on its own cannot do that. It cannot demonstrate firsthand experience or firsthand expertise because it doesn't have any. So how can we use AI content while also satisfying Google's requirements on EEAT? And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video, how I published an article by doing something myself by telling ChatGPT about my experience and then having ChatGPT write the article. So first, let me just show you the article. I'll leave a link below the video so you can check it out for yourself. So this is on my grilling and barbecue site. So it's how to clean a Weber grass gas grill, a beginner's guide, okay? And as you can imagine, it's a guide with photos, my own photos of how to clean thoroughly clean a grill step by step. So I actually did this task on a Saturday morning and I'm gonna talk more about that. And I had ChatGPT come up with the text for the post, right? So you can see it's step by step how to do X, Y, Z. And this is where I think ChatGPT can shine when you work together with it. So this is the post and I'm gonna, again, go over kind of my six step process to how I was able to create this article um, with ChatGPT. So step number one is do something related to your niche, right? And this is really important. In order to add a unique perspective, you need to actually do something unique. And for this article, as I mentioned, I actually went and cleaned out my Weber grill inside and out. I spent about 90 minutes doing it on a Saturday morning. And I documented every step, step by step in my notes app on my phone. So when I opened the lid and sprayed the cleaner and scrubbed down the top, I wrote that in my notes app. But step number one is you actually have to to do something, right? You wanna be the one demonstrating your personal EAT, and we want ChatGPT to kind of act as the biographer of what we're doing. But it all, it all starts with you actually doing something in your niche. All right, step number two is to tell ChatGPT what you did. So remember, you are the expert, you are the one with experience and expertise, we then need to tell ChatGPT exactly what you did. So you can see inside of ChatGPT, I'm telling it, right? I'm gonna provide you with notes of my experience cleaning my grill. Your task will be to take those notes and transcribe them into a blog post format and style for easy readability. Do you understand? And it says, yes, I understand. Please provide me with your notes, right? And this is where I get into telling ChatGPT exactly what I did with my grill, okay? So I, I give it a little bit more instruction about it should be friendly, casual, and document my experience cleaning my grill. But here is where I start to feed it the notes of what I was doing, right? So I say cleaning the grill, open up the grill lid, spray generously with Goo Gone, use a rubber scraper to remove any debris and deposits, wipe down thoroughly, with paper towels. Now, again, the whole idea here is I'm the one doing the thing and ChatGPT is kind of acting as our biographer, taking our notes and then it will put it into actual text. But this is step number two. It's feeding ChatGPT notes about whatever thing that you did in your niche. 
All right, step number three is to ask ChatGPT to turn those notes into actual content. So you can see I kind of put these together um, up here in one kind of prompt. So I'm saying your task will be to take those notes and transcribe them into blog post format and style for easy readability. And then another part of that prompt, you can put this together, you could separate them like I did, um, test out different styles. But I say the style should be friendly, casual, and should document my experience cleaning my grill while offering advice to others who wish to do the same thing. So that's kind of a, a two-part prompt on asking ChatGPT to take my notes and then turn it into content, right? And so here is what I fed at the notes. And you can see, you know, it's giving me some stuff that I didn't ask for. I didn't ask for a title, so I'm not gonna use that. I definitely didn't ask for an introduction, so I'm not gonna use that introduction either. But now we get into the actual content of my post, right? Step one, cleaning the grill lid. So you can see it took my shorthand notes up here and it's putting it into actual content, right? The first thing you need to do is tackle the grill lid. Here's my step-by-step -step experience and advice for cleaning, for cleaning the grill lid, right? Step number one, begin by opening up the lid. This will give you full access to the surface you need to clean. Step number two, next grab a bottle of Goo Gone, which is an excellent product for removing stubborn grease and grime. Spray the lid generously, making sure you cover every inch of it. Step number three, now that the grill lid is coated in Goo Gone, it's time to use a rubber scraper to remove any debris and deposits. Be gentle but firm in scraping to avoid damaging the lid's surface. So you can see how it's taking my notes and it's expanding on my ideas and it's adding new ideas that make sense, right? So for example, this sentence right here is a perfect example of how ChatGPT can take our ideas and run with it to make it um, easier to understand and add new ideas, right? Being gentle, avoiding damage, um, are things that I really didn't add in my notes, but now I can take those details and add them to my post. All right, step number four is to rewrite the content in your own words. Now, I do think this step is optional, meaning that Google's guidance says it's fine to use AI content as long as it comes from firsthand experience or demonstrates EE. AT. And in this example that I'm showing you, I believe it hits that Google threshold, right? I'm using my firsthand experience, my firsthand expertise, and I'm using AI to produce that content. So the content as is, I think meets Google's guidance, technically speaking. So I do think this step is optional, but still I prefer to have the content on my site be in my voice to make it sound less AIE or less chat GPT E. So what I did is I took that as kind of a first draft and then I rewrote. So you can see up here on the published article on my site, step number one, cleaning the lid. Now notice I have an actual photo of me cleaning the lid, which I'll talk about in a second. And here you can see what I came up with, right? I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but open up your lid and spray the inside with some Goo Gone. Use a grill brush and some paper towels to scrape away any buildup in grease. The lid can accumulate non-toxin carbon deposits that you'll wanna get rid of so they don't fall into your food. So again, I pretty much completely reworked what ChatGPT gave me, but it made it so much easier producing this content because I already had a body of content to work off of and I already did the thing. So in order to rewrite this, it took me just a few minutes. So that is the rewriting part. Again, to meet Google's guidelines, I do think this step is optional, but if you want your content to sound like you and not like ChatGPT, I do think this is a good step. All right, step number five is to add your unique perspective, right? So to stand out in the world of AI content, I do think it's important to have some kind of personality in your content. And this can just mean adding little details of something that you 
are experiencing, right? So you can see in the very beginning of my article, the introduction, I talk about, hey, it's mid-April here in Connecticut. The weather is getting warmer. We're spending a lot more time outside, which can mean only one thing. Grilling season is about to crank up into high gear. Now, this is just a small detail that's true, right? It's true to my personal experience. And that's this is not something that ChatGPT would generate on its own on prompted okay so adding in these little bits of perspective unique perspective unique details about you and your situation i think goes a long way to making this content more relatable all right step number six is to add custom images so for any how-to content when you're doing something and explaining or teaching your audience how to do something I really do think hands-on custom photos are basically a requirement now with Google. Um, so you can see throughout this entire article, I've taken all of these photos, right? So this is my grill at the end, uh, but throughout the article, right? So that's me with my gloves on, my goo gone, that's my grill, those are my greats. Um, lots of custom photos, lots of custom images, right? Proving to Google that we've done the thing that we're talking about. We've done the thing that we're giving advice about, right? I'm not just researching how to clean a grill and summarizing the research or summarizing someone else's experience. I'm living this experience myself and I'm proving it to Google with all of these custom photos that no one else on the internet has, right? No one else has this exact specific image. And so adding these images where relevant to whatever type of content you're creating, I think is really important. and will help you stand out with your content. But that's the last step of my process. Take a look at the blog post itself. I think it came out really well. ChatGPT really helped me speed up the process of creating the written content. And I'm gonna continue doing this process with a bunch of other posts on this site and I'll be keeping track of the progress as well. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be republishing or, or publishing more videos um, more frequently unedited, just me talking to the camera and showing my screen. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. So how do we use ChatGPT to publish content on our site that's actually 